Hello. <coughs> oh dear. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hello. Uh, welcome to the Old Golden Black for this daily December video. Uh, apologies for the state of my voice as well, as you've heard uh, a couple of false starts here at the beginning of the video. Um, but today was a, it's a little bit of a moan, a little bit of a rant. Um, I think if you've been following this channel for quite a while, you'll know that I don't really uh, rant or get really angry. But it's just been the last month or so, I've been feeling that I haven't been able to get into this season. Or I haven't, don't feel like I've got into the season as much as I did last year. And I think the main reason behind that is that I've only been to two home Saturday 3 o'clock kickoffs, Which is... Ridiculous. I've just counted up now. The same point last season we'd had uh, seven. We're just about halfway through the season now, but it's only of two, and they were back in uh, late September and October. The main reason behind it is Sky. Certain teams in the Championship have that problem. I know lots of Leeds fans complain about their games being moved to Friday nights and things like that quite regularly. But it, it's spoiling football, and that there's now two away games, or three away games, in fact, in a row that I'm missing for the first time. Since going back to when Paul Lambert was the manager, I haven't missed three away games in a row because Cardiff was moved to a Friday night uh, and therefore couldn't get away from work early enough. The Newcastle at four o'clock on a Sunday, that journey is just not doable for me going into work on the Monday morning. And then Fulham on Boxing Day means you can't really enjoy Christmas Day or you know you have to get up really really early on boxing day to get down there there's the trains and stuff that are an issue as well for lots of people so that's that's going to cause tickets to not be sold out for those games i know that there were a few left for newcastle a couple of days ago i don't know if that's still the case and the reason that sky don't have football matches on at three o'clock on a saturday is because they might affect attendances but surely having Wolves fans travel up to newcastle on a four o'clock on a sunday is just is even worse for attendances. I remember seeing one game in the past where Newcastle were playing Brighton on a Monday night. <sighs> I understand that the the financial gain of being on television so often is massive. I think for proper football fans, Sky Sports is more of a nuisance than it is anything else. Now I'm sure that lots of the bigger teams like Manchester United and Arsenal and Liverpool who always seem to be on the television every single weekend may feel slightly differently because they've got used to it. But we've already had seven games on television this season and there's already a few more planned with Liverpool being moved to a Friday night and a couple in January as well that have been moved, Manchester City for one. And it just, it spoils the weekend for me not having it at three o'clock on a Saturday. I think I was five on a Saturday is okay but the Friday night games, the Monday night games, Sunday afternoon games, I'm really not a fan of. We saw the Huddersfield game, there was a real lack of atmosphere um, in that game because of what time the game started. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below about Sky and perhaps BT, who have a slightly smaller monopoly on the Premier League, but still have an influence. Would you like to see three o'clock Saturday games being televised? It hasn't been done before because of the worry about uh, attendances, but surely... The current situation is worse than that anyway. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel and then check back tomorrow after the match against Newcastle for a fan review of the game and I'll see you then. Bye bye.